The only thing that will be left at the end of the night. At the end of the night. Will be me, me? as world heavyweight champion. And the corpse. And the corpse of the hardcore kid. Nick Violence, you have been lined up! Jump! And I hope you're and ready. I hope to get... you're ready to get kicked down. I've been in your head for eight weeks, bud. Eight. Eight. At Hardcore Homecoming, episode nine, uh, you're, you're mine! mine. Ladies and gentlemen, Old School Giddens is back to commentate hardcore homecoming for you. It is Halloween, and we're gonna get it started off right. A street fight between Austin G and the element, Blake Pierce. And as we pay homage to Hardcore Homecoming 2, let's see how this fight came to be. This is Maddie, our new talent evaluator. This is uh, Austin G, big man Hollywood right here. <laughs> evaluator, huh? Maddie from behind, hitting Alex G with her clipboard. One of these days, the sky's gonna break and everything. Oh! And Maddie strikes Nyla on the head, breaking the clipboard over her head. This is the first mixed tag team match in One ESW history. Maddie and Austin G win the match. I don't say this uh, much often at all, but thank you very much. It's you and I were made for this. I was made to taste your kiss. We were made to never fall away. Wait a minute! What was Blake thinking? He went after Austin G and Austin G and Blake Pearson Why not? She's my property, Element property, new property, shit you don't know about anymore. Yo, Rolo, out of nowhere with the chair. Oh, and Maddie delivers a hard slap. Oh, Blake Pierce just speared Maddie. Blake Pierce just speared Maddie. If you can beat Rolo, then after that, you can have Blake Pierce in a street And a bullet by Austin G. Next week, you two for Maddie. No contracts, no relationships. Winner takes Maddie. I know how bad you want this street fight, Austin. Oh, yeah. I want it just as bad as you do, just not now. But once again, the new gets over on Austin G. Three in Hollywood! I tried! I tried! So I got a big, big, a big announcement plan right now. Let's go take care of this. Now your services are no longer needed. Austin, I know you're watching. You're fired! <laughs> You are going to be facing Austin G at Hardcore Homecoming. Yeah. <laughs> Things are different now, so yeah, you can so. actually go right ahead and take your cameras because the investing that I've been doing makes sure that we're covered. Welcome back, guys. ESW Press Conference for Hardcore Homecoming. I've been in your head for eight weeks, bud. Eight. Also count the weeks. You didn't have Maddie anymore. She was doing she was doing things for me. You crossed the goddamn line, boy! You you took my go! You hit my go, motherfucker! All right, and then you fire! Right, and then you fire! Oh, right, you went to oh, damn it! You, you went to the old yeah. Yeah. yeah! You went to kill her! You went to save her! You went to the old yeah. 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 I always have fun with what I do. I have fun displaying the new. I have fun ruining Austin G's life. I have fun spearing Natty. <laughs> Put your hands on my woman. My woman! It only takes one. One of you next. 
to end your life. It's set in stone, boy. At Hardcore Homecoming, episode nine. Uh, you're mine. Uh, Austin's a snake, and all I gotta do is cut the head off. I'm coming for you, Pierce. Stop! And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is Halloween night. It is Hardcore Homecoming, and here he is. <laughs> the element. Great Hardcore Pierce. Homecoming. I'm here. Elements here. I told you in the beginning I was the necessary for ESW. E, if you will, for Element. Elemental showdown wrestling. Didn't have to be like this, Austin. Never had to be like this, Austin. But you made it personal with everything you've done. Eight weeks, eight weeks culminates to this very moment. And whether I choose the chair as the element, the ladder as an element, or my spear as that element, the element comes out on top today. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from Blake Pierce right there. The element of this match is a blood feud. The element of this match is a street fight here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, this all started at episode two when Blake Pierce speared Matty into exile from ESW. And ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the former ESW World Heavyweight Champion, the seven times. I'm talking about Austin G. Saw Mania. And look, we're getting it started, ladies and gentlemen, a takedown by Austin G. And the street fight has erupted here in the ESW Shockwave Ring. And Blake Pierce wants none of Austin G, ladies and gentlemen, as he runs out of the ring. And he's got a barbed wire back. Oh, and the bullet. The bullet out of nowhere by Austin G. What did I say? What, did what you the say? fuck did I say? That's a screwdriver. Oh, oh my oh, god, don't do it, Austin. Oh, Austin G, oh, trying to end the oh, life shit. of the element here at Hardcore Homecoming. And a reversal by Blake Pierce. And the running has started again. And Austin G has been waiting for eight long weeks to get his hands on Blake Pierce and kicks to the mouth of Austin G. Off of the ropes, oh, with the King's knee. It's going down for real. He's got that screwdriver, ladies and gentlemen. Bad intentions from Austin. Oh my God! The shot, and again, Blake Pierce holding that screwdriver inches away from his forehead. It's going in. Oh my God! Oh my God! Did you see that? Did you see it? Ladies and gentlemen, we saw it. Blake Pierce is bloody. The crimson mask is broken open on the element's forehead. And Austin G opening that wound up more. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a fight. A fight here at Hardcore Homecoming. Austin G bringing that ladder into the ESW Shockwave ring. And then, of course, on episode one, we saw that Battle Mountain ladder match. It's over, bitch. Where some could say that this all started. Oh, my God. Some could say that the feud started at that first episode when Blake Pierce attempted to spear Austin G off of the ladder. Blake Pierce blocking that shot and laying Austin G down to the floor. Oh, and a shot from Blake Pierce. Irish whip into the corner and oh my god, Austin just, just got turned inside out. The steel colliding with Austin G's back. And Blake Pierce is in full momentum of this match. Full control of Austin G here tonight. And Austin G wants none other than to get the win here tonight and put some hurting on Blake Pierce, the man that exiled Matty. Oh my God, he just collided that steel with the skull of Austin G. Austin G's gotta be out. Austin G has got to be knocked out, ladies and gentlemen. That steel six-foot ladder colliding with fans. the skull. Yo, what it is? 
Oh. Here it is! Slate Pierce, oh. cocky! So cocky in this match! Can Austin G get the upper oh. hand again? And oh my god! Oh. Austin G oh. is busted oh. open! Oh. Austin G oh. is bleeding! Two crimson masks in this street fight! And ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a match! Oh, oh my oh. god! The blood draining into the eyes. <laughs> yeah, yo, what is it? Draining into the eyes of Austin G. No. And you gotta think no. that that's gonna blind Maddie. Austin G and put it yeah. put him at a disadvantage yeah. in this match. Uh, and Blake Pierce uh, having his way with the former ESW uh, World Heavyweight Champion. And here we go. We're going to the outside. Uh, Shots to Austin G's face, and he blocks it, a kick to the gut, two kicks, and another one on the liver. Oh, and another shot. Blake Pierce with that savvy wrestling, ducking that huge haymaker from Austin G. Look at the bows. Look at the elbows, my God. Oh. Kick to the gut. By Blake Pearson. Oh, he's got him up in a power bomb. What a power bomb on the outside. A power bomb on the unforgiving ground from Blake Pierce to Austin G. But Austin G still got some fight left in him. More kicks to the sternum. Oh, here we go. Getting him up in the neutralizer. Oh, he got it. He got all of that, ladies and gentlemen. It's got to be over. No! Oh, fuck you, Austin! And Austin G does fuck not want to end the match! Austin G wants to inflict more punishment on the man that has caused him such havoc for eight weeks! Eight straight weeks of mind games! All coming out here tonight! Here we go, Austin G, bloody! Ow! And a reversal! A reversal into that ring apron. That is pure oh. steel, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these shots. Oh, you go, baby. Uh, Look at these shots, ladies and gentlemen. Austin G asking for more. Uh, Maddie! Uh, Calling for Maddie. Yeah. Calling for the love of his life. It's Austin G. And Blake Maddie. Pierce loves it. This fucking piece of trash. Oh. That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted, Austin. And he just levels Austin G with that shot. And as I said before earlier in the match, ladies and gentlemen, Blake Pierce is in full control of the former world's heavyweight champion. And he just levels him again. Austin G feeling the effects of that steel ladder to his skull. Can he come back? Can he get the momentum back in his court? Blake Pierce mocking Austin G, going for the flamethrower. Austin G ducks out of the way. And Blake Pierce crashes and burns through the second rope. Austin G following the element to the outside. Blake Pierce ducking the punch. And there we go. Here we go. These two men square it up. Blake Pierce showing his boxing skills. He is not only a wrestler, he's got striking abilities, as we can see in this match. Taking the gloves off is Blake Pierce. Pure knuckles to skin! Oh my god! He had to break his hand, ladies and gentlemen! And here comes Austin G! But a reversal to the snap suplex! Blake Pierce! just collided his knuckles into that steel ring post. And ladies and gentlemen, I thought Austin G had the upper hand right there, but it was to no avail as Blake Pierce reversed Austin G once again and hit that snapmare on the unforgiving ground in the ESW backyard. Austin G may have a concussion. Austin G may not, may be injured, ladies and gentlemen, as he is wobbly from the punishment that Blake Pierce has dealt in this match. Oh my God.
go to the word of that ladder. And Austin G has no idea where he's at. Austin G has no idea where Blake Pierce has set him. So much blood loss. So much punishment. And Blake Pierce is going up to the top rope. Come on, Blake. Oh, and Austin G. Austin G has the wherewithal to get off. Austin G got off of that ladder. Could he have some fight left? Here we go. A shot to the gut. Shots to the face. Vintage punches from Austin G. Oh, and what a shot. What a shot. And Saw Mania is upon us, ladies and gentlemen, as Austin G has a second win. Yo, fuck. Here we go. He is fired up. And Austin G setting Blake Pierce on that ladder. It looks like the tables have turned as Austin G's headed up to the top rope. Could it be? Oh my God! Oh my God! Two piece! Two piece! Two piece from the top of the ring to the outside for a ladder and look at the destruction! Look at the destruction of that ladder! Austin G has got to go for the pin. He's got to get the win. And here it is. The ref. One, two, and a kick out. Blake Pierce kicks out at two. Blake Pierce kicks out at two. I don't know how in the hell he kicked out of that. The two piece. There's got to be eternal bleeding. Oh, and a shot to the back. That's all you got, motherfucker. Oh. That two-piece has had to have caused internal bleeding to Blake Pierce's gut. And Austin G unraveling the tape, and we all know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. I never got that thank you, Blake. For starting up your career in my business. If it wasn't for new, which means if it wasn't for me, other than some owner like like Lynn Ledford or Joey Russo, you'd be nothing. You got my woman involved in this. You spared her, you piece of shit. You fired her. You're dead. Dead. Oh my God! Oh, the spear! A spear out of nowhere! A piercing spear! You're right, Austin. I did do all those things. One, two. And Austin J kicks out! Austin G kicks out in the nick of time! It was three. It was three. Austin G was going to belt Blake Pierce with that steel chair and got speared! Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, look at these shots! It could have been us, Austin! It could have been us! We could have done everything we ever wanted, you stupid son of a bitch! Oh my god, the emotions are still high between these two men. There is absolute hate. There is no love between these men as Blake Pierce is choking the life out of Austin G! Fuck the bloodline, it should have been new! It should have been fucking new! And for this, I gotta end you, Austin. For this, I'm gonna fucking end you. Blake Pierce claiming he's going to end Austin G. He is going to end this match. He is going to end everything that Austin G stands for and ESW. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Blake Pierce setting up in the corner. Could we see another piercing spear? Oh, he gets him up! Grenade! Grenade! Grenade by Austin G! And it's gotta be all over! It's over! It's over! Austin G! Redemption is sweet, ladies and gentlemen! And hardcore homecoming! Austin G wins the street fight! Both men bloody! Both men beaten! But one man standing tall! As the winner here tonight! And hardcore homecoming! And Austin G wraps in emotion right now, engulfed in it, 
feel it, my nigga, then throw a villain, man. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at what transpired in this street fight between these two men. First off, the screwdriver to the forehead of Blake Pierce. And then that vicious Irish whip into the ladder. And then, of course, that shot to the head that would bust Austin G open in that power bomb. A neutralizer, and then the two piece that I thought it was all over right there, ladies and gentlemen. What an extreme moment! And Blake Pierce would reverse that chair with a piercing spear, but Austin G would hit the grenade, and that would be all she wrote for the element Blake Pierce and Hardcore Homecoming. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen, and here is the older brother, the Bloodline member, Mr. Seven Time himself, fighting for the World Heavyweight Championship tonight, Alex G. And he's got to be super proud of his brother here tonight, getting the win. Over the element, like you. Got a purpose, got a love, then you implement the heart. Recognize the cause, make it true. Whatever you do, whether you save the lives or play the kazoo, be the author, not the actor of your chapter. We saw these two reunite two weeks ago, ladies and gentlemen, and even though they came up short in that tag match against Cody Rex and Blake Pierce, Austin G. I didn't come out here. Just to say that the bloodline lives, even though we all know it does. There's something else that lives now, Austin. There's something else that I started behind your back. Don't worry, it's not the new. Austin, I started a legitimate business. The Bloodline Inc. Bloodline Incorporated. Oh my God, what? Where wrestlers and fans all alike can join and be a part of the Bloodline. What the hell does this mean? And the first person I signed as the talent evaluator of Bloodline Inc. Austin G. Your beautiful girlfriend. Is back in the States, back here at Hardcore Homecoming. No, way, no. Austin G. Maddie. You have got to be kidding me, ladies and gentlemen. There she is. There she is. Austin G. Has finally been reunited. He has been reunited thanks to his brother, Alex G. And look at this. What a sweet yes. moment, ladies and gentlemen. It's everything that we wanted. Uh, uh, it was worth it. Uh, it was all worth it. Uh, 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 Austin G uh, went through me. hell Get out of between. and back. The bloodline lives. Bloodline eat. Uh, uh, and it all pays off uh, here tonight uh, thanks to the brother, uh, the big brother uh, of Austin G. And I am at a loss for words, ladies and gentlemen. This is such a beautiful moment. I, I did not see this coming. We need to get a janitor in here to clean this up. Hey, Cali, Aztec, janitors, shout out. I see you, big boy. Get your badass in here. If you're not in NXT yet, get your ass over here and start cleaning this up. Hey, put the burger down. Get your ass in the ring. Cali, nobody's your fan. Get in here. You got to start cleaning this up. What an investment in that shirt, boy. Oh, hey, hey, make a shirt, by the way. Hey, yeah, you. Hey, set button. Get over here. Kelly, we don't have a mop. We'll just use a mask. What's up, bro? I want to wish you good luck in your match tonight. And I hope you retain that title, too. Because I would love to wrestle you. Not one on one, but for that title next season. All right. Yeah, man. Thank you. And uh, good luck getting your mask back. Because okay. I'd also like to face you, too. But uh, I want to face the guy everyone loves. The guy with the mask. That Jake Jordan. Yeah, everybody loves the person in the mask. Yep. Well, good luck. You too.
my song we can't take over MC you better look over your shoulder yeah, and ladies and gentlemen we yeah, just saw yeah, one hell of a street oh, fight no. Austin G defeated Blake Pierce and was reunited with Maddie. But ladies and gentlemen, it's time to switch gears and see if Osiris can reunite himself with the Anarchy Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the devil himself, Osiris, making his way to the ring. He is looking to gain his 15th Anarchy Championship title here in this match. Hardcore homecoming, baby. Against Nick Violence, the current Anarchy Champion. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, the head games have been played by Osiris for many, many weeks with Nick Violence. But ladies and gentlemen, the games are over because the Anarchy Champion is making his way to the ring. Hardcore homecoming. Today I show this man what the real deal is. What true violence is all about. Strong words by Nick Violence. Everyone knows that Osiris is a man of anarchy, an OG of anarchy, an OG of violence. One of the only men to compete in a circle of chaos match. Can Nick Violence step up to the plate? I want to make sure we get a screenshot of him with that title because this last time he's going to fucking touch it. And get the win over the veteran Osiris. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this match started. It is for the Anarchy Championship. Osiris versus Nick Violence. I'm not a challenger, son. I've been a champion. I am a champion. I was born a champion. You don't understand what greatness is because you're not, dude. Come on. Look at that. Enough of your shit. Nick Violence shit. is done with words. Nick Violence is tonight. ready for a fight. Let's get it on. The bell has rung. The Anarchy title is on the line. Both men tie up early in this match. Osiris going for that wrist lock takeover. Controlling the arm of Nick Violence. And a reversal. By Nick Violence. Oh, Nick Violence has a little more weight on him, a little more power to manhandle Osiris around. But ladies and gentlemen, will it be enough? I am not a side order. To beat the savviness of Osiris, the slyness of the devil himself. There's Jesus, there's some shit in the back. Come on now. Start this match out slow. Nick Violence wanting to do a test of strength. And here we go, both men lock up. One hand, both hands locked up, and here we go! Oh, and Nick Violence gets the upper hand, as I just said, he's got the power game. Oh, and Osiris getting it right back on him, contorting the wrist, contorting the fingers of Nick Violence. And here we go. Nick Violence giving a headbutt. Bounces off the ropes. Jumps over Osiris, goes to the clothesline, rolls him up for the schoolboy. It's a two count. Osiris, quick to get back up, gets him in a headlock. Uh, hold on, big boy. Hold on. Uh. Osiris has regained control of this match. Hit violence. Oh, and he tried to push him out of that headlock, but Osiris held on. Osiris is holding on to that headlock. Oh, and here come the shots. Here come the patented shots of Osiris to the skull of Nick Violence and he bounces off the ropes. Oh, what a double A spine buster by Nick Violence to Osiris. And the ball is back in Nick Violence's court. The ball is back in the champion's court. Can Osiris get the upper hand? Oh, he went for the NGOA. Nick Violence caught it, spins him around. Oh, he's got him in a lock. He's got him in that full Nelson lock and Osiris rakes the eyes. Oh, but a, what a 360 clothesline by Nick Violence as he levels Osiris to the mat. Both men pretty evenly matched up in this match. Get your ass up. Come on. <coughs> Who's gonna come out on top? Sharks to the sternum from Osiris.
Paris and one to the head. It's going to be a big ass motherfucking Kyle driver. A Kyle driver is coming, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen this before. Oh, and he, he throws him over, but he reverses into a sunset flip. And a doom count. Nick Violence had the wherewithal to get out of that crafty pin. Hold up a second. Hold up one second. Jesus. This is what you want to do. Oh, and here we go. Baseball slide, but it's reversed. Oh, and what a shot. What a shot. And a chop. Come on. Yeah, oh, another chop, Osiris. Some red. Oh. Osiris is regretting. One more. Slide into home base as Nick Violence. Oh, and he misses the chop. And here comes Osiris. Oh. Trading oh. chops are these two men. Oh. Oh. Blistering the chest. Oh. oh, and that was a good one, ladies oh. and gentlemen. Nick Violence has got to be hurting. Shit. Oh my god, here we go. He's gonna be lighting it up, ladies and gentlemen. A kick to the gut. Oh! That light Ooh. tube just exploded from the headbutt of Osiris! I haven't done that in a while. Vintage Osiris! <laughs> and Osiris making use of that that light tube, the broken light tube, and both men are bleeding right now. Both men busted open. Oh my god! Oh my god! Osiris! Osiris just headbutt in the ring post. Steel to the head does not mix. And Osiris is busted open. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Old man is going to be walking. He may be visiting the retirement home early as a barbed wire walker has just been pulled out. Uh, oh my oh. god! Oh. And Osiris! Oh. Osiris oh. just brought oh. another two to hit Nick Violence with, but Nick Violence had the wherewithal to use that barbed wire walker and bust the tube on his sternum. And as if this Walker, could it be extreme enough? He's adding more light tubes to it. I need to Ladies and down. gentlemen, you wanted anarchy. You wanted hardcore. Well, you've got it. There we go. Nick Violence. Get Osiris up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Osiris is a pin cushion on that barbed wire. This is what you wanted. Don't forget that. And Nick Violence is fired up, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. You want to see some violence? That's what you want. Oh, well, my God. You're gonna get. Oh, my God, Come ladies on. and gentlemen. That's a cinder block. That is concrete. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have never seen that before. That's what you wanted. That cinder block just collided. With Osiris's head, he has right got up. to be concussed. As you can see, the blood is pouring out onto the the open canvas. And Osiris has no idea where he is at right now. And Nick Violet's bringing in that steel chair. And here we go. It could be all over. He ducks it. Oh, and a wheel kick. A wheel kick to the chair to skull. Steel meets Nick Violence's forehead. That would have fucking hurt, son. Huh? And Osiris has got some fight left in him after that cinder block. I have no idea how. The Anarchy Championship just means that much to him. Osiris goes for the first pin. Oh, and a two count. I'm surprised at how slow that count was. Oh, like Somerset. Fucking Somerset. Come on, baby! I thought it could have been all over, ladies and gentlemen, as Nick Violence just endured such punishment from the devil himself. And Osiris and Nick Violence, both of these men are exhausted at this point. Oh, and a shot to the gut. Bounces over the ropes. Oh, and a running neck breaker onto the chair. A running neck breaker onto the chair. And Osiris has got to be hurting right now, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like 
His elbow may have collided with the corner of that chair, and an injury may be possible. Ah, come on, get your ass up! This match has been absolutely extreme from start to finish. Oh. And Osiris slapping the piss out of Nick Violence's mouth. Oh. Runs off the ropes in a chop block. Oh my god, did you see the way his knee just contorted? And Osiris taking out the legs oh, of the big man. Oh, and here we go. Oh. A toe hold. Oh. Big ass legs, boy! He's got Ow. a scissors lock on that leg going for the submission. Is Osiris. And Osiris gives up on the submission. Both men back up to their feet. And a shot from the devil. A shot from Nick, the champ. And one from greatness, one from violence, and here we go, Osiris is picking up speed! And ladies and gentlemen, oh he almost just smoked his ass, but Nick Violence reverses, gets him up on his shoulders! And a reversal for Osiris and another chop block, another chop block to the back of the knee of Nick Violence, and you wonder if he's going to be able to stand for the rest of this match. And here we go, an ankle lock, an ankle lock from Osiris! Putting no. further damage no. on the left, the no. left leg of Nick Violence, and Nick Violence is almost up. He rolls through, and Osiris goes colliding into the ref. The ref is down. The ref is down. No. Oh, he's got him in that lock. Full Nelson slam. A full Nelson slam from no. Nick Violence. No. But there's no ref! The ref is out! The ref is unconscious! Ref. Fuck. Ref. Nick Violence can't ref. believe Come it! On, man. As Come Nick on, Violence good. goes Come and on. tries to, to wake the ref back up, he thought he had this match won after that devastating Paul Nelson slam. <clears throat> and here we go. Osiris is back up to his yeah. feet. But how much does he have left in the tank? A spear! A spear from Nick Violence! It's all over! Oh, and Osiris kicks out! Osiris kicks out! The devil kicked out in just the nick of time! I cannot believe it! Nick Violence just split Osiris in two! But he only got a two count! And Nick Violence looking to end this match, calling for the end. Oh, and an NGOA out of nowhere! An NGOA out of nowhere! Osiris has just won his 15th, his 15th Anarchy Championship! The mind games pay off as the devil himself gets the upper hand! Happy Halloween, bitch! And then... It's your treat here at Hardcore Homecoming. Oh, Osiris said it at the press conference last week. He is no gentleman. He is the devil himself. He is the ESW Anarchy Champion. 15 times the man of Hardcore Homecoming is mine. I'm back, baby. So, is that anarchy? Because I'm the motherfucking devil himself. I am greatness! I am motherfucking greatness! Let's take a look back at what just transpired in this match. The headbutt. The walker. The wheel kick. And ladies and gentlemen, it was such an extreme match. Both men were busted open. That full Nelson slam could have been the end. But of course, the ref was unconscious. And an NGOA out of nowhere. That NGOA would be all she wrote for Nick Violence's title reign at ESW Shockwave. 
Of course, Osiris won his ESW Championship at Hardcore Homecoming 2. But here at Hardcore Homecoming 2020, he wins the Anarchy Championship. Let's go you get it. Got Blake back. I started the Bloodline Inc. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, you see? Because of the actions that happened tonight, I got back what is rightfully mine now. And tonight, uh, in the main event, uh, you're gonna go out there against the Maverick, uh, that crybaby, uh, Cody Rex, uh, and you're gonna get back what's rightfully yours. The ESW World's Heavyweight Championship. Now you go and make us proud, you go and make them proud, like we know you will. We'll be watching. Good luck tonight. Good luck tonight. The bloodline lives again. Come on. Hey, I'm gonna make you proud. Whether you know it or not, Cody Rex goes down tonight. The bloodline, we live again. Season finale, happy Halloween, hardcore homecoming, Rolo, you're dead tonight, let's go. And here we go ladies and gentlemen, the former ESW champion Jake Jordan is missing one thing ladies and gentlemen, and that is his mask that young Rolo took three weeks ago on episode six of Shockwave and of course he is looking for retribution here tonight at Hardcore Homecoming is the disrespect of Young Rolo has been unprecedented. And here he is, you see him wearing that mask. I'm not Rolo, I'm Jake Jordan! And Young Rolo wants the respect that Jake Jordan has been getting from the fans and, and that mask was, was short-lived. Jake Jordan just took it back. Jake Jordan back. has just secured his mask away. back. That was so quick. Is what the hell? hell? Young Rolo's got another mask of Jake Jordan's and this match has started. Here we go and a springboard all across body. What a move by Jake Jordan and this match is underway, ladies and gentlemen. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, an ambitious clothesline from Jake Jordan to Young Rolo. And ladies and gentlemen, Jake Jordan has been waiting to get his hands on Young Rolo for weeks as a two count. Take off. And look at that. He just ripped off another mask. He's got both of his masks. Jake Jordan has just gotten both of his masks back. What is Young Rolo going to do? What the hell? That's a third mask. That's a third mask. What is going on? Oh, and a low blow. A low blow by Young Rolo, and here he goes. Overhang by Young Rolo to Jake Jordan, and, and Jake Jordan was not ready for that third mask. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got to be concerned that Jake Jordan has been too concerned about the mask in this match, not focusing on the match itself and an overhang from the second rope. And it could be all over here, right here, ladies and gentlemen. But Jake Jordan kicks out at two, and as I was saying before, Jake Jordan may be too focused on getting his mask back, but he's got to know that he has to win this match to get the mask back in a token. Here we go for the sunrise, and he gets it. He gets the sunrise on Young Rolo, drives him to the corner. Could we see some high flying action? from the former oh, no. ESW You're champion. It is Hardcore Homecoming, and ladies and gentlemen, Jake Jordan is coming home. Oh, and a frog splash. A frog splash to Young Rolo. It's got to be all over. Retribution. Retribution for Jake Jordan as he has defeated Young Rolo at Hardcore Homecoming. As you can see, he has taken back the honorary Luchador mask. I got it back, baby. I got it back. And here
here we go. That mask is back on Jake Jordan. Let's take a look at what happened in that match. That frog splash within the night for young Rolo. I got back what's mine, and I'm gonna take what's his. I don't like fake jewelry. That stuff that he buys from Wish. Uh-uh, they gave him on a roll. I'm gonna take something. Jake Jordan's gonna take that, something from young Rolo. That's the hair yours. He's gonna take please, his please, hair! Please, please! He's gonna take his hair! Ow! And the 3.14! The 3.14 from Jake Jordan as young Rolo was trying to run! Young Rolo was trying to... Cut tail and get out of the ring! Oh my god, there are the Clippers! There's the Clippers, ladies and gentlemen! Oh no! Oh no, it can't be! This is not a... Rolo, oh my god, his hair! His hair! Oh my god, look at this! He's giving him a horseshoe ball! The fade is very, very fine indeed! What is that, a zero? Charlie, about that! And look, at, no hair look at young Rolo! Trying to attach the oh my hair gosh. back to his head! I'm not certified yet. <laughs> Hardcore homecoming. And look, he's tapping out, ladies and gentlemen. Young Rolo should have thought of this before he stole the mask from Jake Jordan. Young Rolo has got to deal with the consequences of disrespecting another wrestler in the ESW Shockwave Green. Yeah, folks, I see y'all season five. And let's just say he may not be getting the ladies anytime soon as you look Rolo with that look. What's up guys? Mark Myers here. Today's guest and final guest, Cody Rex. Cody? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Great. First off, in a few moments here, you have a chance. Uh, 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 uh. I don't need the questions today. Uh, all, all right. Go. Oh. Go. Go. Alex G. I have waited three years for this moment. I have worked my entire ESW career to face you. Alex G, you are a 12-year veteran. You are the man who created this business that we stand in right now. But that's not gonna matter after tonight. Alex G, you are the founding father. You are the man behind this whole creation and you are a multi-time world champion. But everything that you've done cannot compare to what I have done within the last three years. So Alex G, everything that you have created, all the moments you have made, all those crazy moments you've done in the backyard and everything you've done here is not going to matter after tonight. Because after tonight, no one's gonna remember you. They're only gonna think of you as the man who lost to Cody Rex in the main event of the biggest show of the year. So that's enough talk for now. Let me go walk my walk and talk my talk and beat your ass! So by the end of the night, the Maverick will be walking out world's heavyweight champion. Why? Why not? Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it, Garza. Let's get it, Garza! Ladies and gentlemen, the night has been absolutely electric. Hardcore matches from start to the co-main event. But ladies and gentlemen, it's time to kick it to the final gear. I'm talking about the main event. The main event. The season finale of season four of ESW Shockwave. It's Alex G versus the Maverick, Cody Rex. And it's for the World Heavyweight Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, this all started when we saw 
what we never thought we would see before. The complete 180 of Cody Rex. And let's see how it came to be. Will you hold the line? When every one of them is giving up and giving in, tell me, in this house of mine. Nothing ever comes without a consequence of cost, tell me, cause this house of mine stands strong. That's the price you pay, leave behind your heart and cast away, just another product of today, rather be the hunter than the prey, and you're standing on the edge face up cause you're a First off, Cody Rex, I'd like to say that I'm disappointed in your recent change of attitude. Ah! You earn things in Extreme Showdown Wrestling. You earn things in Shockwave. Ah! How could a legitimate kid, a crybaby, be our world champion? That's the to Hardcore Homecoming in the main event to face Cody Rex. And you're standing on the edge face up cause you're a I brought you into this world, and now I'm going to take you out, and in the process, I'm taking back that championship. You've never taken me seriously no. since the day I walked in the door here. You've always had doubt. The show goes off the air with Alex G holding that next week. Oh my. There's only one man that will walk out ESW Shockwave Champion, and that's me. The only thing that will be left at the end of the night will be me as World Heavyweight Champion and the corpse of the Hardcore Kid. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the main event, the season finale of ESW Shockwave all culminate to this moment as the Hardcore Kid makes his way to the ESW Shockwave ring to try and attempt to gain his eighth title ring in ESW and he looks great Cody's been waiting for this day for three years I've been waiting over twelve I've always wanted one of my creations to think that they're smarter than me, that they're better than me. And it's happened. Now I kill it. And I become an eight-time world's heavyweight champion at Hardcore Homecoming. You heard it from the Hardcore Kid himself, ladies and gentlemen. He is going for his eighth world title. The unprecedented number and here in ESW. And ladies and gentlemen, we saw the disrespect flying from the Maverick Cody Rex as he spit the blood in the Hardcore Kid's face at the press conference last week. You gotta think that the Hardcore Kid may have some emotions stirring up in him after that blatant disrespect from the World Heavyweight Champion. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Maverick. Ah, Cody I Hux. have been waiting three years for this. I've been waiting three years to kill Alex G. 
I've been waiting. And nobody's gonna take it from me! Cody Rex is the current world's heavyweight champion. How long are you gonna try to hold on to this for, huh? But he's got his hands full here tonight. How long has it been since you've had this? Long time. And you're never gonna have it again. Thanks to me! And here we go. Cody Rex is stepping into the ESW Shockwave ring. Why not? Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen a complete 180 in the emotions and the personality and characteristics of Cody Rex this season. Many people have started calling him the degenerate Cody Rex. He is not the maverick anymore as much as he wants to claim it. He has become an entitled rhyming, so to say, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. Come on. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is Cody Rex versus the hardcore kid Alex G, and it is for the, oh, no. the richest prize in ESW. Need to. I've been doing this a long time, kid. I don't plan on stopping anytime don't soon. Don't talk to me like I'm a kid. You are a kid. Don't talk to me like I'm a goddamn. Ah! Oh my god! It Cody Rex just spit in the face of Alex G again. I'm not a goddamn kid! Reminiscent! Oh, and a loop that's press by Cody Rex and shots are raining down on the hardcore kid. And ladies and gentlemen, this match has started. Cody Rex is setting up for that why not me. He's setting up for it. Could it be all over? Oh, and a hardcore nosebreaker. A hardcore nosebreaker just reversed. He just reversed it right there. Alex G still wiping the spittle from his eyes as he climbs to the top turnbuckle. Could it be a splash? Oh, and he misses. Alex G just crashed and burned. Cody Rex had the wherewithal to get out of the way. And here he comes. The why not me? The why not me from Cody Rex. What's up with that? And Alex G wisely rolls out of the ring. Cody Rex just might have missed his opportunity to seal the deal right there as he hit an early, early why not me on Alex G. Oh, and he just hit that kendo stick out of nowhere. He just leveled Cody Rex with that kendo stick. Come on, Rex. Come on, Rex. And Alex G. Oh, my God. He just hit him with the nosebreaker. What the hell? Oh, and a nosebreaker from Alex G. Oh, my God. Did you see the way? That Alex G popped up from that hardcore nosebreaker. I can't believe he did it. I can't believe he got up after that and hit his own. Cody Rex has got to be out going for the altercation. He like, oh, and a spinning DDT. What a reversal. What a reversal from the champion. Oh, and a missile drop kick from Cody Rex. And here we go. Another one. And Cody Rex is fired up, ladies and gentlemen, as he runs the ropes. Goes for the sling blade, but Alex G reverses into a side effect. A side effect from the hardcore kid. And the ball is back the seven times court. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this match has been absolute fireworks. Both men trying to end it here early. Here it comes. Altercation. Cody Rex lands it. A missile drop kick. Oh, and another why not me? Another why not me from Cody Rex. It could be all over. And a duke out. A duke out. Cody Rex's title reign is still up for grabs from the hardcore kid. Ladies and gentlemen, both men have hit their absolute biggest finishers in this match. But neither has given neither has given up in this match. I have no idea who is gonna come out on top in this match. Two why not knees, two hardcore nose breakers. My god, how much more could we see? Here we go! Throws them off the top! The hardcore kid just threw Cody Rux from the top turnbuckle. That patented spinning back elbow from the hardcore kid. Goes for a pin and a kick out from the champion. And Alex G cannot believe it. Alex G is in 
simple disbelief that Cody Rex has not gone out, has not given up, has not stayed down for the three count. Who is going to win this match? Is Alex G going to get his eighth title reign? Or will Cody Rex? Oh, and look at the mocking. Going for the why not knee and he hits it. Oh, but he had the title. He had the title. The knee just collided with the ESW World Heavyweight Championship. What a move. What a reversal from Cody Rex. And look at that. He can barely move. Oh, what a backstabber. My God, ladies and gentlemen, these men are moving so fast I can barely call the action. And here we go. Cody Rex getting cocky, but he hits it with a zigzag. A zigzag out of nowhere from Alex G. Ladies and gentlemen, both these men are beating the absolute crap out of each other. Both men are down. Who will get up? Who will gain the momentum of this match? You see Alex G just took the title. Could this be a symbol of what's to come? Could this be a symbol of Cody Rex losing the World Heavyweight Championship? Oh, and a hardcore nosebreaker! A hardcore nosebreaker to the Maverick! He's gotta be out! The Maverick has gotta be out! The cover! And it's all over! It is all over, ladies and gentlemen! The hardcore king! Alex G has won his eighth World Heavyweight Championship! And none other than Hardcore Homecoming! What a match! Ladies and gentlemen, Alex G is holding that title high, and let's see what happened in this match. Reminiscent of last week's press conference, a spit to the face, and there was a hardcore nose break from Alex G, and a why not me from Cody Rex. All of this happened in under a minute of the match. And Cody Rex would hit his own, but Alex G would pop up and hit another hardcore nosebreaker. And of course, Alex D would go for that why not knee, but he would pay as the world's title would collide with his knee. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, like I said during the match, the symbolism, look at the face, the face of disbelief from Cody Rex as he would get hit with the final hardcore nosebreaker that would end the match. Season 4 opened up with Cody Rex crying. It all comes full circle here at Shockwave, folks. With Cody Rex crying at the season finale. Ladies and gentlemen, Cody Rex, full of tears streaming down his face. And there's his baby brother, the Bloodline member of the newly formed Bloodline Inc. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bloodline is standing tall you see that? here tonight. Hashtag, the Bloodline lives! <laughs> Hashtag, Alex, you did it again! Hashtag, eight time! Hashtag, my big brother! Hashtag, and it is Saab Mania indeed, ladies and gentlemen, as the world's heavyweight champion Alex G stands in the ring with the best in the business, Austin G. And of course, Cody Rex is crying on the outside, as we've seen him do all season long. Ladies and gentlemen, what a show! It's okay. It's okay. We'll do it again next season. Yeah. That's right. The bloodline's here to stay. It was a bittersweet night, ladies and gentlemen, as we saw Austin G defeat Blake Pierce in the street fight. And he would be reunited with his love, Maddie. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we saw Osiris and Nick Violence go one on one with the devil himself reclaiming the anarchy title. And of course, Jake Jordan would get his mask back, but he would get more than that as he embarrassed young Rolo by shaving his head. And ladies and gentlemen, as Alex G said earlier in the ring, it all came full circle here as the hardcore kid defeated Cody Rex to gain his eighth World's Heavyweight Champion. The bloodline lives.
We'll see you next season for ESW Shock again.